Hey guys, Dragan here from MuseShop.net and today we're talking about the full screen video backgrounds ultimate Adobe Muse widget. This is the most powerful Adobe Muse widget for video backgrounds available on the market. It's fully responsive, comes with 40 plus color effects for your videos. It has editable pattern overlays which you can insert on top of your videos. It falls back nicely for all mobile devices and you have a custom border styling for your video. So here you can see a couple of effects live. So let's check out how the widget works. All you need to do is drag it on your canvas and insert your own files. Now I have some demo files over here. I'll delete those and I'll guide you through the process of how you can insert your own video. Let's say we have an mp4 file available and we want to create the other files we need for our video background. We will left you a handy link over here which takes you to a website that converts your video files. So you, all you need to do is click over here and you will go to onlineconvert.com. So I have my video file over here and it's an mp4 file. Then I'm gonna check which other files I need. I need two more video files and I can make those on this website. I need webm and ogv. So let's create them. We go to this section of this website which says video converter. Then you click select target format and let's create the webm first. You can click choose file and select your mp4 file. After you do that click convert file. Now we wait for the file to upload and then we'll download it. Once it's finished, we will be able to save our new WebM file. And that's how easy it is. Now let's click over here again to get our OGV file as well. So you need to choose the OGG. This option will actually produce the OGV file. Again, click choose file. We use our MP4 original file and click on convert file. It's the same process as the one before. And again, we save our OGV file. You can also see that we need an image file or our poster file. And this file will load for all screen sizes smaller than 768 pixels. And this is because videos cannot autoplay on mobile devices. So to ensure that our visitors don't hit a black screen, we will serve them a JPEG poster image instead of the video. And the best practice for creating this image is to play your video in your favorite player and simply click print screen to capture your video screen which can serve as a great poster image but keep in mind that you can simply choose any image you want to replace your video over here so let's put these files inside our widget first we insert the jpeg file and then we insert the other video files and now that we have our files loaded let's preview and here it is our fully responsive video background which turns into an image under 768 pixels. Meaning your mobile visitors will not have a black screen instead of this or some other issues with video trying to load on automatically when it's not available for mobile devices. Now next to these options you can also choose whether or not you want to use the browser background on mobile. And what this means is that this image will not be loaded and under 768 pixels the widget will simply disappear and instead the video background if you set the browser background here in Muse you will get that browser background. So let's leave that at no since we already added the image over here and let's see the further options. We have the pattern overlay over here which you can use to add your own pattern over your video which is a good thing because the video background file should be the smallest video file possible so your website would load faster and when we downgrade the quality of our videos they might start looking pixelated. This is the time where pattern overlay images come very handy because dot patterns or line patterns 
actually give our videos an effect as it has a slightly better quality than it really has. So let's add a pattern overlay over here. And let's see how our video looks now. As you can see we have, I don't know if you will see in the final video, but we have a very subtle darkening dotted pattern over our video, which completely removes any pixelation. We cannot see any pixelation on, on our video and it looks awesome. Okay. And now check out these color effects. You get 40 plus color effects for your video. Not all are color effects, some are actually video processing effects like blur or invert and so on. So let's just load one of the effects so you can see it live. Let's say we want a blue gradient over our video. So let's see how that will turn out. And now you can see we have a fully blue uh, gradient over our video, which is great for when you want to add some text that will be in the first plan over the video. This puts your videos into a cool subtle background and it looks awesome on your websites. And finally, we have the option for a border effect. Let me just set some parameters over here and in a minute you'll see what it's about. We'll add a 20 pixels white border around our video and let's preview that now. As you can see, we've added a border effect around our video background. And this is the only video widget that comes with all these additional possibilities for your video backgrounds. So make sure you get your own copy of the Video Backgrounds Ultimate. And that's it.